and I equals gross minus and I okay now this is correct that is what he's paying per month for his NI so the next thing we now need to do is get all of this information so that we know how much he paid copy paste that right there and just change that to NI payment there and this one become NI payment let's copy that and paste that in here there I think this one is also called J yep that's correct JLBL NI so that's his NI payment right there copy paste paste and just copy and paste this so we've been able to work out everything now so I'm just gonna save compile and run okay so add it all up that's how much is paid for end of for the year or per month okay or this month for its NI so all we now need to do is to add up everything and get the total deduction so the de total deduction is then deducted from gross pay to give us net pay so let's do that now exit so we declare another variable there so let's just call it total total deduction All right copy right underneath here I have my total deduction which will become uh, NI payment actually NI payment there and pension take that off okay that's it that is my total deduction carried out that's good so if I run the program now let me just show you guys the codes one more time these are all my variables okay bring it down that is just for the first if statement okay if I save run I'm sorry it's taking a bit of a long time than expected but it's gonna work out fine let's say that's your time there so the total deduction needs to now go in here okay now let's work that out so total deduction copy all of this pay and do what have I done okay let's try again copy all of this paste it right underneath here now total deduction we need to convert that to a string copy convert to total let's just say t deduction take t deduction copy paste it right in here and t deduction comes here now we need to know the name of this very component this very one deduction right click change variable copy it's called jlbl deduction so come back in here and change this to jlbl deduction right there paste so total deduction is sorted now save compile run so as the inner city within so let's enter that in there and come in here maybe over time and just add there that is the total deduction now we now have to deduct this very one from this to get the net pay okay let's do that the net pay so that is the total deduction right here so we need one more variable to get the net pay sorted right here comma net pay so net pay right underneath here 
equals gross minus total deduction actually it should be up here cut paste it right up there there that is for the net pay so we now have to convert this to string as well let me just copy as usual and just carry out few changes net pay paste that right in here and total net let me just change that to total net pay copy this that's the string and this one becomes I think it's actually called net pay let's hope so yep yeah, that is correct copy no copy this all of this actually yeah might as well just copy that and just replace it with this and just go for a pound sign there space plus so we get our net pay as well so let's save compile run enter the inner city within wages there over time and there so if we deduct this from this we should get this so let's check that out get your calculator and get that sorted okay guys i suppose you get that sorted with your calculator so that is the right answer okay so all that is left for us now is just to work out how much is paid and how much is paid for uh, for the tax year with the paint on whatever value is in here if it's four so it's going to be four multiplied by this that goes in there and four multiplied by this comes in here okay okay to speed up the process i've actually completed the, the taxable and pensionable okay so if i double click here i can always just add those ones right here so let's add them here all right that's the code for the taxable and the pensionable so what that means is for the tax the tax pay so far let's say it's week uh, months number four you just need to say is four multiplied by the tax paid so far okay and the pension also is the same the fourth month of the year multiplied by pension okay and that will give you the the pension you've paid over the years so if i compile save compile run the program right now okay let's say that's the within and this is the wages over time or whatever is old is strong and the period let's say it's period four of the tax year the code in this case we're still using the emergency tax code which is a all zeros and if i click on add there so for the tax year the fourth month of the tax year that is the total tax this man has paid so far and the pension paid so far that's it right there and the tax paid so far pension for that month student loan for that month and national insurance number so that that's the deduction that's the total deduction if you subtract that from this and that's what you get once this is subtracted from this okay so that's all set now so all that that's left for us to do now is to work out this if any of this is selected what will happen to this so in that case let's say this guy is on uh, code e in that case it ends seven thousand pounds without tax in a year before whatever tax is taken off so this we have to divide this by 12 and add what we get to the net pay that will give us uh, e 
so to do that it's quite easy so what we need to do now is exit the system copy every copy the whole lines of codes within the if statement right here okay we copy that and we now paste that right in here paste it right here there so this is for 3000 there so if it's 3000 this is what we happen it's all the same but the difference is you gain 3000 pounds extra in a year so we have to divide that by 12 so what we then need to do somewhere here is to work out is to divide the three uh, three thousand by twelve so let's do that here we need a variable for that and the variable in this case is a three zero equals three thousand divided by twelve that's it there so whatever you get here you then add it to the net pay that's the net pay right there and that will become net pay equals net pay plus that there that is it sorted that's how simple it is so we've worked out that of three thousand pounds before tax for the whole tax year so all of the ones is just you might as well copy this copy and go for four thousand right here paste that in there in this case that becomes B4 0 B 4 0 and is the B 4 0 that is added right here B 4 0 that is a sorted so that's all there is to it so I'm just gonna speed this up and uh, we can then round up this program okay guys this is how the whole program looks now and that is if we state the period of payment okay if you notice we now multiply by four and that's what we get so supposing okay since that is the fourth period then and uh, supposing this guy is on e okay code e code e 700 that's it you can see the difference you can see the difference in the wages okay if you want to work that out add this together and you then divide this by divide 7000 by 12 then add that to whatever is left and that's what you end up with and up here you might be wondering what's meant to be there that's the customer name of course or the employee name so let's say I said Tony King. That's Tony King in there. Uh, Tony King. Yeah. An address maybe 146. Let's say 146. Stan. Stan Luke Road. There. County. County. We can just call that. Maybe Dallas or whatever. Postcode. And reference number. Maybe we need to generate that, but that might be another tutorial because this is taking too long. An employer name, let's call that uh, Green Aviations. An employee name, that's also Tony King. There, so all that is left here is just to enter the date. We can always generate the date as well. And national insurance number of course that's it right there and whatever recommendation you, in, you intend to enter here okay you can just say August wages 
input or show pay slip there and that is how you develop uh, a payroll system using Java NetBean. But just before I leave, let me show you guys the codes one more time. So I'll take it from the top. Those are the global variables. And if we scroll right down, this is the resets. These are the reset lines of codes. Okay, can you see that? And here I have the exit and here we have the calculations this is the calculation from here let's take it down down okay So actually if you have any need for these lines of codes, just send me an email and I will forward it to you. Okay. It's been a very long tutorial. But uh, you will enjoy it and you get the hang of it. So it's just the same lines of code actually. suppose that is all to these very lines of codes with that I'll say bye for now guys you all have a nice day now